All right, today we're gonna tie a, what I like to call an iced caddis pupa. So we're gonna get started. So we got a size 12 hook, a size 1 8 tungsten bead in a bronze color. I'm gonna use a little bit of copper wire and brassy size. Tie this, tie this baby in. It's right behind the lead, we'll work it down. I'm not gonna have any tail or anything on this one. It's just kind of a good, it's a good simple pattern. It's durable. And uh, we've had some days on the Provo River, we've always kind of struggled with um, catching fish after three o'clock, but there's always a big caddis hatch coming on that time. And we finally started switching over to some of these caddis pupas in those afternoons, and it makes a big difference. So I have to try this one out. So we'll bring, I think I got enough, enough stuff. We're gonna put this on. This is gonna kind of run along the back of this fly. Tie that into right there. We'll kind of double check it. It looks pretty good. So for the abdomen, we're going to try a little bit of a, where the iced name comes from. We're going to try a little bit of tan ice stubbing. Going to try to get this pretty, pretty thin. Use a little bit here. Going to bring it up. Let's see as we work up here. This kind of helps give it a nice translucent look that those caddis pupa have. I'm going to need a little bit more. A little bit more. So we'll come up about three-fourths of the way. Perfect. Look at that. How do you guys like this vise? Nice vise. Alright, so we're going to bring this up. I'm going to try to flatten that out a little bit so it kind of covers that top of that. So it covers the top of that, this fly. Make sure it looks good. I'm gonna do a little half hitch here. Do a little bit of, do the rib. Do three or four here. Perfect. Okay, after we get this done, I'm gonna use a material on the, a little bit of leg action going on here. We're gonna try, well, that kind of cut that off for me. Oh, not all of it. Really been liking this CDC feathers for for legs on these nymphs. It kind of has some good movement and it's, I don't know what it is, but it works great. So we're gonna wrap this just a couple of times, just kind of a soft tackle type of look. Bring it up, kind of pull these feathers back as we're coming. And I'll probably do, do it. Doink. There we go. Broke the thread. Don't be alarmed. Oh, gotta love it. This hasn't happened to me since yesterday. Darn thread breaking on me. There we go. Get her fixed up. I'm gonna pull that feather back, see if I can get this started again. So restart that. Restart that. Hopefully we don't break that again. Get that other bat thread out of there. So I'm gonna wrap this two or three times. Kind of pull back as you're wrapping it around. There we go. Careful cutting that out so we don't cut all the feathers you just wrapped around there. I like to wet my fingers a little bit, pull all those fibers back. Kind of lock those into place. What I like to do is I kind of like to grab them, maybe go just past the end of the body, kind of cut those off. And that looks really good. Perfect. And then to finish this fly off, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of peacock ice dubbing, just a darker dubbing. I'm sure anything would work pretty good there. I'm going to grab these fibers, pull them back. Just put that on there. That looks good. And we'll do a We'll do a whip finish. I like to do, you know, just like two of them like we always do. Two of them. Now that fit, that fly right there is ready to catch you some fish after three o'clock and before. <laughs> 